Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to show you how you could run vision models locally on your PC. So if you look at models here, you could see that uh, the Lama 3.2 vision has just been released here. So you could see it updated yesterday. So I decided to make a video about this model. And this is because of the fact that I already run local apps on my PC. So if you see here, for example, these are all stream lead applications that I have on my PC. So, so you could see here, I have this uh, downloader Fedora and this QR QR code. So this one, if I decide to start it here, uh, this is an application that actually helps me to generate QR code. So uh, these are just local apps that helps my productivity. This downloader Videora is another application that helps me, for example, to download uh, video files. So I could download any video from any site uh, to a particular folder on my system. So these two applications. So now I want to add another application. So I'm, I just want to add another application. And the application I want to add will be based on Llama 3.2 Vision. So I want to have an application, for example, that can ha have a text. So the plan is actually to have something that looks like this. So I want to build is an application that will look like this. So the application will actually have an area here. So with an upload button. So you're going to have like upload. So here is where you're going to click. And then it's going to have some text field here and a final submit button. So basically, so here's where you type the prompt. And then you're going to upload an image. So a JPG or PNG or whatever image. So you click here to upload the image and then you submit with the prompt and you're going to get a response back. So this is the kind of an application that I want to build. So in order to do this, uh, we're going to need to create a, uh, a stream lead. So I'm going to be using a stream lead application to create work with this. So let's open it right now. So if you see here, uh, this Lama 3.2 vision has a way to interact with it. So first of all, we need to pull the model. And before we pull the model, we also need to install the Olama Python library. So we need to have this installed. So this is what will enable us to interact with uh, Olama. So, and then the vision model can has a way of interacting with it, you see. So using the Python library, we can just say import Olama, and then we could provide the image here. And then this could give us uh, whatever we want. So in order to get this done, so let's go start uh, creating installing the dependencies and doing all the installations that we we'll need so first of all i don't even have a llama installed on this machine so i'm just going to come here and click on download so this is going to download take me to the download page so i'm going to download it for windows and of course i'm going to be installing it so when it's finished downloading i'm going to be installing it so while that is downloading also we also need this uh, python file so i'm just going to take this uh, and uh, let's go install it. So I'm just going to install it. So I have other applications running here. So my Streamlit applications, all of them are running. So we just need to install Olama. So, so while Olama is installing, you could see I have other set of dependencies that other applications that I use depend on. So I'm just installing this because I want to be communicating with Olama. So we also need to install uh, the Olamas as well. So you need to install the software as well so that you'll be able to uh, pull the model. So we can start installing now. So I'm going to give it some time. I think it's going to complete as soon as possible. So we have it installed. <coughs> now we can uh, so we have the indication here that it's already running so look at it here so it shows that it's running so we have it running here although they look like there are two instances here but you see we can quick it we can view the logs <laughs> so it's already running so that means on our terminal now we can be able to assess uh, olama so you see run your first model so we have it here on here 
so immediately you click here it's going to open this shell for you so this way we want to run our llama 3.2 so i will go bring it up here so i'm going to come to he here and this is what we want to pull so we want to pull the 3.2 although this model is actually big, big so if you don't have a system that has some big ram or or kind of a gpu this might not be this might not work so i'm just even trying it on mine so i'm just going to pull this here pull so this is going to take a lot of time so i'm just going to pause the video and i will come back to it when it's done so so it's going to take a whole lot of time so when we come back we're going to be setting up the api that sends image to this uh, model and it brings back a response to us and we're going to add it into the chain of our uh, stream lead applications so now we have finished pulling the model so we finished pulling the llama 3.2 vision model so the next thing we're going to do is to try to create the stream lead app that will have the properties of what i told you so a place where we could upload an image and then also a prompt and then get our response so let's do that so i showed you previously that i have a couple of stream lead applications that i already have on my system so for example i could run them here and you see i want to add them to this collection so i already have this um uh, these two apps that are running so i could start them and stop them here so i just have uh the code for each of these apps so i have this uh apps so within these apps i could just add the the pipe the the this dictionary here that contain the name of the app the script and the port number that i want the app to run so i'm going to be sharing this code in the description in case you want to just create like some custom gbt's and you want to use them for it's so easy to set up then i'm using so, uh, sub process to kind of open the app and to also kill them so let me create the app here so i'm going to be creating the app i'm going to call it uh, vision so it's going to be a vision app so i'm going to call it vision.py so i don't actually spend my time creating this app all i just do is just give a prompt like this for example you see i said uh, this is i just say building a stream lead application that uses uh, olama vision uh, models receives an, an image and a, pr and, and a prompt so receives an image and a prompt and generate da 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 so here you see here i already have like my app and uh, this is so it's using peel so everything is all set up for me it's encoding the image and let's see where it's sending you see it's using the olama.chat and it's sending the encoded image and getting the response so everything is done for me so most of the stream live art i create i don't even uh, i just use cloud cloud to generate all the the image the the code so without actually wasting my time so here i'm just going to copy the content here i'm just going to paste it here so that's all so hopefully it works if it doesn't work then we might have to do some uh, uh fine tuning so let's kind of like add our app to the collection of apps so with this you can have like so many apps that are doing like some custom stops for you and then you could all put them into these apps so now i'm just going to add to this dictionary here so just gonna say this and then i'm gonna paste this one here and i'm gonna call it uh llama 3.2 vision app and then i'm just gonna make sure that i have the vision.py here then i'm gonna run it on a different port so so we're gonna have this one as a um vision.py and then let's run this one on 8504 so you see so we have the app here so we're going to test it to see whether everything works so let me go back here i'm just going to kill all the all the apps and start it all over again so so let's have all our apps running so you're going to see that that app also will be added so we didn't see the app i think i can see what happened i did not save so I'll kill it again and make sure that i'm on auto save so that things will be automatically saved so here i'm just going to start uh the streamlit apps again so now you're going to see that we have a llama 3.2 vision app why is this important so you're going to have like your custom gbt's here so i could even come here for example and uh come to the apps and then you could see here that uh 
here I could just say my custom LLM apps. So let me give it the right name. So I'm gonna say custom LLM custom LLMs. So let's start it all over again. So I'm just gonna make sure that I start it. So all my apps will be running. So you see, all the apps are running. So you see, so now we have our custom LLMs. So this one is Downloader Fedora. We have this QR code. So now I'm gonna to try to start this one and see. Well, let's see whether everything worked. So sometimes I don't expect it to work because from the get go. So look at what we have. So <laughs> I didn't even do anything. So I just basically took it from Cloudy and just pasted it here. So here you could see how to use it, how I have to pull it here on the side. And then here you see where we have to drop down. So we just need to check the code basically to see that everything works. So let's go back to our code. And you see here, it's even giving me options to choose the model I want to use. So let's go back to the code and fix everything. Um, so here we're going to come to our vision.py. So let's see. So this is this one loads the image, um, opens the image, and returns none if there's no image. So this one encode the image to base. I think this is pretty colored. So this one is uh, based on our model name. So I think, so based on the model name we provide, uh, I think this this is how the API looks like, I think so. And then this is the title, image analysis with Llama. So this is the sidebar where we select our model. So model name will be based on selection. So I don't think this is the name of our model. So this, we need to change this to the right. So we need to go back to the... So let's just come back here and make sure that we have this Llama 3.2 vision. Uh, make sure everything looks correct. So there's also content here as well. we we'll Just make sure we fix everything. So sometimes it will not just work exactly the way you want. So I'm just going to make sure that... For now, we just need this. I'm just going to take this option out completely and just make it one. So, so we're going to select this. Um, so let's see if uploaded image is none. So when we upload the image, that's when we're going to see this text prompt. So let's go try it out. So, um, now we're just going to take this part out because we want to also pull just the not this but this so this 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 so we just need to make sure that we have this take this out because we're only having lama 3.2 vision i think this is this looks okay so let me start the apps again so everything seems great now so let's see, start the application again. So it's going to open in the next page. At the port we wanted to see, you see now everything looks a little bit different. So let's see what happens when we decide to take an image. So I'm going to download an image of a cat somewhere here. So I'm going to say cat image. So let's just find some cat image. I'm just going to save this one. Basically, I just wanted to test. So save this one to download and then we're going to come back to our vision app we're going to browse that image go to download take this image and then you see the image is already displayed so basically what i would do now is just to ask uh what is in this image so we already have like what's in this image so um and what's the other item just so and then we're going to say analyze image let's see what happens it's a card and it looks like there might be some kind of bookshelf or storage unit behind it it is hard to tell for sure because the photo is blurry <laughs> so this is cool it took a lot of time because of course uh my ram i have about 16 gigabyte of ram i'm not using the gpu so it took a lot of time, but this is also a proof that you can actually run uh, an 11 uh, GB model 
it's just going to take time, but it's going to work at the end of the day. If you have something that you want to analyze and you want to leave it for some time, but I think it's going to work. So this is a proof. So just CPU, no GPU. And this thing is working. So this is how, uh, you know, as I showed you earlier, I have a collection of apps. So you have uh, the Llama 3.2 app, you have your QR code, you have this one. So they are custom LLMs and all of them are working. So this one is actually an LLM app. These ones are not. But this is a way in which you can have like your custom LLMs, have your Llama, and then you could directly uh, have your Streamlit applications run in this fashion locally and, you know, use them for your personal uh, use cases. So thank you and do subscribe to my channel for more content like this.